So we've already seen how to do the rotos for all the different parts of our character that we're going to isolate onto a separate layer. What we have here is we've already applied the depth grading, and now let's see how the depth grading will be used to deform the polygonal mesh. Here's what our character looks like, and he's going to be isolated on a separate layer, so there's his mat. We'll go back to the depth grade, now let's take a look at the 3D mesh that it creates. Okay, oh, let me get rid of this other guy over here. Turn that off so we can focus just on our boy. So this is the bizarre part about it. Even though he's on this mesh and he's all deformed and he looks all weird and ugly, if seen from exactly the right camera view, it suddenly all works. That's the whole secret of the stereo conversion. So that depth map is being used to deform this mesh, and as I step through it, you can see him walking through the mesh. Okay? All right. So, that'll take care of the boy on his layer, so what about the background? So we'll turn off the boy, come over here and take a look at the background depth map. All right, so here's our background plate, and what we have is this beautiful rock face up here, and then a rock wall in front that's on a second layer closer to the camera. And then we have the boy in front of that, and of course the ground plate. So we need at least four layers, rock wall, rock face, boy, and ground. All right, so here is our depth map for the background. You notice I took the background plate, and I used a luminance version to introduce all this lovely detail. Now I put this radio gradient here in order to pull this forwards towards the camera. Since the rock wall is closer to the camera, it gets to be a lighter color, and then the ground plane down here. So let's take a look at how all of this looks in 3D. So here's our polygonal mesh, and you can see how bizarre it looks, but it's all deformed based on that luminance, that depth map that we created. In fact, you can see here, see that bulge in the rocks right there? Well, here is where I added that uh, radial gradient in order to pull that forward. And once again, when seen from exactly the right angle, everything looks just fine. Now, the boy has been painted out because we're going to put the other boy, we're going to layer that other boy on top. So let's see all of that together. So we'll turn on our boy layer. And now you can see the boy is on a separate layer from the background. But once again, when seen from exactly the right angle, the whole thing works perfectly. Next, we'll see how to set up the two stereo cameras and to render the left and right views.